The ties. That bind. The ties. That break. Good afternoon, Mr. Pierce. I'm sorry to have kept you waiting. I'm Eve D'Angelo. No problem. Good afternoon, Mrs. D'Angelo. It's Miss. Miss D'Angelo. I've studied the portfolio of the assets that your father left you, and the promissory note that you have from your stepmother and brothers. My firm can definitely manage your portfolio for you. I'd be happy to work with you to increase your net worth. Sounds great. But I do have one question. Why do you want to purchase J&B Printing? It's a bad investment. It's personal. Lesson 1. Investing should never be personal. Your only concern and only goal is profit. This one's personal, and I want to buy J&B no matter what. I see, and then do what with it? Make them pay. Do you want to talk about this vendetta that's making you throw your money away? I used to work there. Ah, enough said. Hey, you're supposed to be making it rain. It's barely drizzling over here. Yeah, but I'm just not feeling it tonight. Sweetheart, my friend here is having a bad night and needs a little help clearing his mind. Sure, I can cheer him up. You can thank me later. Every single day I'll be making moves Till I'm buried in my grave To the system I don't wanna be a slave I've been doing Thanks, shit Thanks, Ted You're always looking out for me Of course You and I go way back And you gave me a job When no one else would You're a good friend She's pretty cute Yep, pretty and easy The way you like them <laughs> Do you want to go to the VIP room? I don't pay for company. Then how about you just take me home? Dana, what are you doing here? What's wrong? What's wrong? Is someone after you? Is it Damon's family? I don't know what to do. I don't want to lose you. I love you so much, Dallas. Why would you be afraid of losing me? I haven't told you everything. Okay, so let's go inside and you can tell me now whatever it is that you haven't told me. Can you please just hold me, in case you never do again? I found the ransom money a few days ago. I brought it here to give to you to turn in, but, uh, your mother came over before you came home. When she saw me here with the money, she took it. Okay, I understand what happened. That's not so bad. There's more. I know, I should have told you, but, well, you see. Dana, tell me, what is it? I'm so sorry Dallas, but, I had an affair with Martin Fraser, and your mother found out, and now they are both blackmailing me. You did what? Are you kidding me right now? I'm so sorry. I was all alone in the program. I couldn't contact my family or friends. You and I were having a lot of problems and I thought our relationship was over and I, I just turned to the only person that was there, Martin. I can't believe you did this to me. I never loved him, Dallas. I was just scared and alone and he was a shoulder to cry on. Except that you did a lot more than just cry on his shoulder. It didn't mean anything. That doesn't make it better. I know. And I'm so sorry, Dallas. Get out of my house. Can't we at least talk about it? There are names that I want to call you right now, that I've never said to anyone. You need to leave before I forget that I am a gentleman. Dallas, I love you. You are the only man that I have ever truly loved. I didn't know real love until I learned it from you. That reminds me, leave the ring on your way out the door. Even if you hate me for the rest of our lives, my heart will forever be your prisoner. And that is a life sentence that I'll gladly serve. Get. Out. Hey, are you in the bathroom? Mandy, do you hear me? Did she leave while I was sleeping? Where did I put my watch? I thought I put it on the nightstand next to my wallet. Where the hell is my wallet?
Patrick stole my watch and my wallet. What the hell was I thinking bringing a girl I just met to my home? Mother you lied to me. Clearly you can see that you are interrupting my meeting. Mr. Wilson's company is going to reconstruct the service kitchen for me. You and I need to talk because you lied to me. I have no idea what you are talking about. Because you've lied to me so many times, you just don't know which lie I'm referring to. Watch yourself. You lied about the reason Valise Mason came here the night of the fire. You know exactly why she was so angry and that she had every right to be. I'll speak to you when we're alone. I don't give a damn about this man. Maybe he needs to know the kind of person he's dealing with. Don't you dare speak to me that way. I am still your mother. And it's getting harder and harder to respect that. Can you give us a minute? Alone. Sure. No problem. I already told you, mother, I'm not going to be a party to any more of your schemes. God spared my life and I'm going to do my best to turn over a new leaf. So, now you think you're holier than thou. We are all flawed, Dallas. Even your precious little Dana, who is not the angel you think she is. Yeah, she told me. I bet she didn't tell you everything. Everything. So, you know then that she's been screwing Martin Fraser behind your back? Yes, I know. And you come here judging me? Dana and I are finished, and you are giving Alex his money back. <laughs> that man must have hit you harder than I thought if you think you can come here now and tell me what I'm going to do. Belize has no proof of anything. Only allegations. Did you really think that you could get away with this? I haven't stolen anything. Some of that money is mine anyway. Do you really think Dana is willing to go to jail for you? Besides, true to form, you kept all the money for yourself. You get $15 million and she goes to jail empty-handed. Only in your world would a deal like that make sense. She told me about the affair. So you don't have any leverage over her now. You found your way in, so you can find your way out of my house. You have 24 hours to return the money to Alex, before I turn you in. You wouldn't dare. Yes mother, I absolutely would. 